the quiet is the first thing you notice inside the Odessa School for Horological Excellence. Six veterans have switched out their fatigues with blue lab coats. Now armed with tweezers and small magnification eyepieces, they're taking apart the insides of watches, oblivious to anything outside of the miniature worlds that are inches from their faces. We go into the details of how it functions, why it functions, we look at the electronics, the electromagnetism aspect. Classes have only just begun, but eventually, Veterans Watchmaker Initiative founder Sam Cannon says his students will learn how to replace watch crystals, reassemble the wheels inside, and make the watch work like new again. This six-week course is all about battery-powered quartz watches. The majority of watches sold today use quartz technology. Next year, the Swiss-trained master watchmaker plans to start the 16-month course, focused on the more complex mechanical watches. These are your Rolexes, your Cartiers. They're spring-driven and require routine service and repair. Jordan Ficklin is the executive director of the American Watchmakers Clockmakers Institute in Ohio. The professional organization sets standards and educates the watchmaking community. Ficklin says the backlog on repairs for luxury timepieces can run anywhere from three months to two years because there are simply not enough watchmakers in the country. Currently, there are probably around 4,000 watchmakers in the United States, down from 40,000 um, in the late 60s. And each year, close to 400 of those are retiring, and less than 100 are entering the profession as new watchmakers. The shortage began in the 80s, when quartz watches first hit the market. Luxury watch production took a hit, and so did the need for watchmakers. But then there was this huge resurgence of mechanicals starting in the 90s, and demand continues to grow. Last year, from the Swiss alone, mechanical watch exports nearly tripled to 7 million units, up from 2.5 million in 2000. So a watchmaker who comes out of a school with a certification will have no trouble finding work. A certified watchmaker is going to start somewhere between forty and $50,000 a year. And Cannon says veterans make exceptional watchmakers because of the discipline and dedication picked up in the military. These people will walk into gunfire. They're that dedicated. All you're doing is taking that energy and transferring it to a different area, something they can do. Injuries and the effects of PTSD prematurely ended the majority of these veterans' military careers. Their lives changed forever in an instant. My name is John Carlo LaRusso, and I served four years in the United States Marine Corps. Russo was infantry, deployed to Iraq in 2005, was honorably discharged in 2008, and later diagnosed with PTSD. After getting out is really when things set in. Not liking crowds, not liking meeting new people or anything like that. Uh, sometimes nightmares, you know, you wake up, you hear things. Um, irritability. Research has shown watchmaking can be therapeutic, particularly for those suffering from PTSD like Russo. Watchmaking is a quiet, solitary profession where you can work at your own pace without any pressure. From day one, and all we were doing was uh, resharpening tweezers, I could see myself getting into it. And sure enough, now that we're diving into movements for quartz watches, I zone in on the work. I'm in this tiny little world with my loop, and the time goes by, it's, it's an eight hour day. And it, you know, next thing you know, it's, it's over with. And I, I can't wait to get back in here, like every day. Cannon can't take all of the credit for the Veterans Watchmaker Initiative. The Bulova School of Watchmaking trained an entire generation of disabled World War II vets before closing in 1993. And now Cannon will train the next.